Hello and welcome. We are the Red Devils Advocates. Almost a full house as Akira, Sean, and Tyrone join me for some more United chat. How is everyone doing? Not bad. All right. Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Again, we would massively appreciate it if you subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter at Red Devils Advoc and on Instagram, RD Advocate. And as of this moment, our podcasts are available on Spotify. So now you can listen to us if you are doing something else. I know a lot of people like to have podcasts going on in the back when they're getting on with some recreational activities. So that's for you. You're in luck. But without any further ado, let's get into United's week. We oh, needed man. it. It's, been, it's been all right. It's been good. A big dub against Burnley. Easy dub. Easy dub. Easy dub, says Tyro. Do you want to talk about that match a bit more then? <laughs> it was juicy, man. It's juicy. <laughs> For juicy, man. Huh? It was juicy. I have nothing to complain. You know, I'm just shout out to Pogburn for stepping up. I like him. Do you think he's still playing for Perlo? Of course he's still playing for Perlo. But he's playing extra hard for Perlo. You know? Because right now, what he did that game was kind of like, we've been missing it for a while. Like The first time he came, he, he showed us a bit of it. Not all of it, but, but now he's showing a little bit more. 50%, I give it to him. No, it's not 100 yet. He ain't there yet. But 50% of his actual flavors coming out today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. I mean, I only watched the second half and I've seen some highlights of the first one. And I appreciate that Pogba scored the goal and that he's working better and he's playing for Perlo. But, I mean... You still don't trust him? 50%... 20%, I, I, don't, I don't care. Like, he, he ain't the player for me. Oh, man, he still don't trust. Yeah. Sean still don't yeah. trust, man. Oh, yeah, Sean's calling Pogba sus. Yeah, well, <laughs> for good reason. I he's still calling him, still don't trust Pogba. I understand, no. though. I don't trust him fully, but... You know, he, Sean, like, don't care. Sean don't trust the man. I want him gone. <laughs> yes, you both bought the drama, but I feel like I feel like he man he actually dealt with the situation. Instead of talking back and carrying it on, he just shut his mouth and got did his do his job that he's getting paid for and you know? mm, yeah. I appreciate that. You know, yeah. fo- footballers they like to drag it on. Oh, are you sure you said that? I never told him to say that. Oh, yeah. Me. yeah. I think it's multi-layered. I think we've seen it before where Pep Guardiola came out and said, Pogba was offered to me right before the derby Mm -hmm. and Pogba scored, I think twice. And he didn't do, he didn't say anything. He just went like, he is a guy who likes to stay quiet most of the time and just get on with it. Of course, there was that moment when there was no football at the end of the season where he said that he wants to go. Fair enough. I believe now that Raiola has come out and he got the hate from the fans, I think that's like that's lit a fire on him. Mm-hmm. And I think as a result, he's become a lot better. Yeah. His performances against Villa, against Burnley, I mm-hmm. think they almost rival that of his when he went to the Etihad and shut them all up. Yeah. But, you know, it's not a hundred, but... It's better than before. I I don't think he's gonna put a hundred percent for us because why should he? He does his heart is not here. His heart's yeah. not here. And at that point, like I think it's too far gone for him. Like he left because he wasn't getting game time. He was better than the managers thought he was. And he got his playtime in Juventus, he got his titles there, came back, and it's not been all roses. I think yeah. he's accepted his time here for what it was and he wants to move on, fine, whatever. Uh-huh. But, I mean, if he can keep putting performances in like this, I'm I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to be booing him, personally. It's not going to work. It's, it's, it's just a professional, you know, dissolution. Well, well, yeah. let, me, let me take it. Sean, if he, if he does help us get the title, are you going to mm-hmm. give him some love? At least no. 1%. <laughs> 1%. 
I accept that he's a talent. I've yeah. said this week in, week out. I'm never going to say that he's a bad player. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put out there that he's potentially not good enough to be in the Premiership. Yeah. Yeah, because he might not be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just because he's got a couple goals here and there. I mean, like, look at all the other players that have. Like, Alperton scored. Danny Welbeck scored. Doesn't mean they're great people. Yeah? Doesn't mean they deserve to be at the club. And Pogba's one of them. He said several times he doesn't want to be here. Yeah, the only reason he's here is because we pay big money for him. And they're trying to get to a point where they can get big money back for him again. They're going to make a loss on him. And I don't care. They're, like You can get plenty of other players who will play better than him. Uh-huh. Like, if you look at the players that Everton have bought, James Rodriguez, Allen, like, they're, they're doing bits. Yeah. And they didn't cost nowhere near as much as Pogba did. Yeah. You might be able to sell Pogba, get in, I don't know, a Royce for, for cheap. Yeah. Have, have some money left over. Get rid of Maguire as well. Get in a Grandoozy. Yeah. My tune doesn't change. I know there's plenty of people that like to flip flop and be like, oh, Ollie out. Oh, <laughs> maybe not so much anymore. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like, players are sussing it. I'm going to call them out on it. <laughs> I no, no, I respect that. I just wanted to know where Sean's standing. Though. If Mama brings home silverware, does he get the, the leeway of in his heart? But I guess not. I, I'll, I'll appreciate the part that he played in the team, as I appreciated the part that other players have played. Didn't like Carrick, he did a part. Didn't like Jones, didn't like Smallin, they did their part. Didn't like Neville, they like, he did well, his part. <laughs> well, back is, well, back hot garbage. Didn't like him. Yeah, but he did his part. Yeah, Pogba. If we managed to win the league, he would have did his part. That's it. Um, no love for the man. No, no. Okay. understandable. T- tired of his antics. <laughs> I go ahead. Um, yeah, that that was a game that could have gone either way. Really, we say it's an easy dub, but it really wasn't. We only edged it one nil. I, I had no. I had no. No, like faith that we're gonna lose. I knew we were gonna win. Just we just needed one. We take the points. We don't worry about anything else. Yeah, well, it was that one moment, but that the rest moment, of the game we were looking kind of soft. Still, I, I know, I know, but that one we had moment. Rashford running up and down the wing, looking like Road Runner, not doing what yeah, we're gonna yeah, do. We, we have that we match have a... been off the pitch. Oh, we're gonna talk about that Rashford. We're gonna talk about. Him. Yeah, we're gonna talk about him. But about he him. had one moment of glory. He had his moment to shine, where he gave that cross in to Pogba. He still had a lot of work to do. Put it away. Brilliant goal. And when you go up a goal against Burnley, you just hold up the fort. You just hold up the fort, really, because they have a really nasty way of playing. And we we saw that because Pogba was bleeding from the knee down. Yeah, they hacked bad. him. They kicked him. They pulled his arm. They jabbed him in the ribs. They didn't he, want to let, let that man live. Like everybody yeah. else was inconsequential at that point. Like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, Sean Dyche. He, he put a target on Pogba's back and told all the players, <laughs> "If he comes near you, that's your zone. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> you run past you, I'm blocking your wages, fam. Because I have yeah. the power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said Sean Dyche. <laughs> okay. Grab, just grab Pogba when you see him, man. Even if you don't so, have the ball. Yeah, I, I think it was a it was obviously a good team performance. And it's those games that we need to win. Those ugly ones like the Wolves game where it looks like a boring game. It's 1-0, but one moment of magic turns into three points for us. And those are the games that we're going to look back on at the end of the season and be like, those games got us here. Mm-hmm. To be fair, though, against uh, Burnley, we had ample chances. We had a Maguire goal that was disallowed, which should yeah. never have been disallowed. Yeah, it should have like, That guy went down like a stack of cards. Yeah, man. There was no reason for him to go down like that. Yeah. And then in the second half, we were peppering them until we scored that goal. Burnley didn't really get into our half at all. That's true. There was a couple of chances that Martial fumbled. <laughs> I, I don't even want to talk about him fumbling the shops, man. But Martial is another one of the players. He needs to retire. 
massive retire. <laughs> wow. Imagine retire, though. He doesn't even want him gone. Yeah. He wants him to pop. Wait for him, though. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm tired of his his shenanigans. Him, Pogba, Maguire, yeah, uh, they're, they're just a bit sus. Only That's... one of those names made sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't lie. Uh, Manson, Manson, Marshall, put the boots up, man. It's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> really? like, the easiest chances in front of goal. He was throwing all of them last season. He can't put mm. one away now. Yeah, he had a one on one. He has but, no excuse as well. Yeah. Cavani had also an opportunity to score and he just fumbled that one as well. So I guess it's our front three who they are in a bit of a rough patch at the moment. Cavani, you've got here. Okay. <laughs> I will have a bad okay. upset about Don't him care. personally. Don't but care. I Don't just care. feel like your brethren need to sort it out. They've been here longer. Like Sean sure. said, either do your job or Resign. <laughs> Let's get money at this. Agendas. The shoes I've only just warmed up. No, I'm not having it. Same 90 minutes in the, the number in the seven match. has only just fitted on his shoulders oh, and you want him to yeah. go. And, Andy, same 90 minutes, yeah? How many more goals has Cavani scored than Martial this season? I don't know. Right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah? The thing is, yeah, I'm not going to have people <laughs> hit hard at one man for messing up shots and then just ignoring another man for doing the same. I'm sorry, how many shots... How many shots has Cavani messed up? I'm sorry, man. I'm talking about that Turf Moor match, that same 90 minutes, all of our front three were shit. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, I'm this saying in that, household, so. in that match, unforgivable misses from all of them. Mm. So my question is to everyone, do you think this is just a temporary patch in form or do you think there's a deeper issue in our forwards? Yes. I, hope I so. think oh, it's a temporary dip in form for Cavani and Rashford. <laughs> they've been banging goals all season. <laughs> yeah? They are the reason we are top of the league. Not yeah. so certain man like Marshall, yeah. Marshall. <laughs> certain man like Tony Marshall, yeah. Don't know where we got him from. <laughs> Tony, man. The media said he had no chance. Right now, he's missing all the chances. Right now, oh, I mean, man, man went on an eight-game streak without a score and scored Marshall. one goal. How many games have you been again? And you, you lost count. Yeah, and you say you're a striker, fam. If you said you're a wing, I would have allowed it. But you said you're a full-on number nine striker, fam. Where the goals at? Where the at? Where the goals at? If you look at all of our terrible strikers over the years, yeah? yeah. You go back to the Makedas, the yeah. Danny Rollbacks. Yeah? They, they bang goals. <laughs> the time that they won the pitch, they're banging goals. They will bang. Yeah? I mean, but... Hell, even Anderson got a couple here and there. <laughs> that's a, that's a I don't, I don't even know what to say about him, man. I don't even yeah. know if he was good. I just saw him run around the pitch. He was just yeah. there to make it a level, bro. That's what I'm saying. But, but for right now, yeah, this season, Martial is missing, man. He, he, he ain't here. Yeah, yeah. What, what was going on? Yeah, like we had an excuse for Greenwood. He had personal yeah. problems. Yeah, respect yeah. to that. Can't can't say anything bad. Yeah, Rashford. He was carrying too much. Uh -huh. Yeah, he yeah. was carrying the team, and then he's carrying all the children. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can't expect that much. From <laughs> yeah, him. man, fighting part yeah, of he's it. Yeah, yeah, he's a yeah. true hero. Fam. What what's Martial carrying? He ain't, no. <laughs> he ain't got the I children in his back. He ain't feeding the kids. What's he doing? <laughs> All he's doing is missing goals. I think man, it hurts. Oh boy. I have to take that one to <laughs> no, you make some good points. <laughs> he ain't carrying. Oh man. Oh man. Well, one thing I'd like to know about the match against Burnley, I think we fielded our best team because we had Bay. In centre back, we had Pogba in the middle of the bit, uh, pitch, alongside Matic, 
who you know isn't the, the <laughs> what? <laughs> we have oh, Pogba uh, and Matic. Who yeah. Matic isn't the fastest player in the world, but he knows his role very well, and he will uh-huh. make it so no one gets past him. And Pogba can go forward. Martial, Cavani, Rashford, top three, front three. I think that is the team that should be his first team, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Any disagreements there? No. Not for that section of the field, anyways. Uh-uh. Okay. I have no problem. Okay. I have no problem with that thing. I'd, I'd consider, like, swapping Martial for Greenwood at, at least half-time. Half-time, oh. yeah. But then, yeah, I sorry, go on. No, I was just gonna, I could be a bit harsh on Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I would do I won't lie. After you come to me, I said retire 35. Man. It's time to go. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> You've had enough, son. Uh, of course, there is that like debate. Whether you have Van der Bacon for Pogba or you have Greenwood for Martial. So you make good points there because he's not getting goals. And we mock Firmino for this. He doesn't get goals. So, you know, the shoe's on the other foot. He's got to be, he's got to answer for his crimes, really. So yeah. that paycheck. Mm-hmm. He's start you scoring for it. If, if you're going to bring up paycheck, yeah, a certain man needs to be starting answering for their paycheck because <laughs> certain man ain't even on the bench and he's I getting mean, paid the I same amount. Like, yeah. I yeah. think, like, I feel like there should be a penalty, like fine charge for every time Harry Maguire fails to kick the ball out, like without any like error, you know. Like, he's he's one one the of the top club. defenders in the world. I don't okay. care. They all the def- top defenders have their weakness, and that weakness is not what I want. Can't kick the damn ball out. Wait, <laughs> <It's, laughs> wait, you know, wait. Did you say um, footballer's weakness is kicking the ball? No, no, I said every like every footballer have their weakness, but kicking the ball ain't one of them for me, bro. No, I don't want that. I, one. I, 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 I rather him like can't eat apples than kick him. <laughs> I, I, I rather take sign off, you know, give him some other error that's not football related for that for clearance, please. I'll take that. <laughs> Give him an intolerance to apples, but allow him to play football. Give us that nose. I want clearance on him. If, if um, clearance, hey man, if clearance can go on his title, I, I'll happily, I happily keep him. As much as Sean hates the man, I happily keep him if he can start clearing balls properly. You know, basics of football. You know. So, well. <clears throat> this is my lecture. <laughs> This is where it gets once again. I wasn't here for last week's pod. I'm hey, here now, Aaron. You are either high, drunk, nah, or, bro. I, I still feel like the guy is a good sort good of problem. Defense. Yeah, the fact that you're there saying, "Oh, I have, have Maguire. He's, he's a good." What is I wrong? With you? you play Sunday league. You, you right there. Yeah, you play Sunday league football fan. Yeah. <laughs> And Jordan, I, right. hey, oh, I, hey, hey, I'm not saying you should have played. He's a good defender. What are you? He's a good defender. What smack are you taking? Because I want something. No matter how much you cast him, surely he is a good defender. No, he's not. I know you're gonna no, say, he's but he's he's not a good defender. I, I, when we get there, yeah, but today's game, game he had, he had, he had good moments. I, won't, I won't just take out that you know he did have his. He's times we had to hold it, you know. If he wasn't there, imagine if he wasn't there. I would be happy. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be worried about people pa- passing the yeah. five-yard passes to their forwards. Hey, I wouldn't be worried about the ball getting cleared out because why? Oh, Lindelof or Bailly would be there, and they're actually decent at their job. Yeah, oh, maybe not even Lindelof. Maybe Twanzebe. Maybe he'd get a chance. Yeah, wow. another good defender. Gonna I don't know soon. what I don't know uh, what your problem is, Tyrone. Yeah, hey, I don't man. know if you've got a, an agenda hey, against man. me because I've got an agenda against <laughs> your players. Yeah, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever it you is. Who my yeah? player is, bro? If you come off the one matter, that's when I, you know, that's <laughs> one matter. Uh, I'm just protecting the man, you know. Yeah, he has his errors, but he's still a good defender. I, I, I you know, he's better. He's better than most, you know. I, I know, I know. But he ain't better than Bally or thing, nah. Let's talk about the Liverpool game. 
Anfield. Rashford. Liverpool, um, the team with the best home record. United, the team with the best away record. Something had to give. Or did it? No. <laughs> Your thoughts? Rashford, 1 out of 10. Maguire, okay. minus 10 out of 10. Oh. Oh. Clarence. Clarence, why is 0 out of 10? So, so Tyrone, I want to ask you something. You said Maguire is a good defender. Yeah. But you remember how many times in the watch along we were like, Maguire has done it again. And we I were know, celebrating. Man. We I celebrated know. when he completed the pass. <laughs> more, more specifically, yeah. Do you remember I'm the first you. five minutes? Hey, Do you I remember don't... the first 45 minutes that he messed up three times hey, in the space of about 10 minutes? Do you remember hey. that, Tyrone? I told Do you, you remember? You and I said to you, and before the game starts, because he's playing with Lindelof, these guys, the magnet between them ain't right. I'm sorry, did Lindelof have a decent match? No, he, he did have a decent match. Exactly, Lindelof had a decent match. Maguire. Yeah, but you. So the guy, the guy you just played right, the Maguire whole defense no, without without the single out one, rate the whole defense out of ten. How were they? So ignoring personal performances, right? The entire defense. Yeah, yeah. Ignore, yeah. I'd, give that, I'd give that defense a seven. Seven. Yeah. Do you know why? Why? Because Shaw Wambasaka, Wambasaka's got a nine. Shaw's got a ten. Yeah. Lindelof, I'd give him a six. Man, yeah. Six. Maguire, so Maguire, Maguire pulls down that average. Yeah, with his minus ten. Man, so <laughs> yeah. You're there blaming a man for Maguire's bad performances. But hey, then man, that man had a good performance. Yeah, but I'm Tyrone. not saying he's a bad performance. I'm just blaming him. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying... That's I'm like not saying Andy for you saying this man. nonsense. I don't know. The connection Andy, <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, when Harry gets in full, Lindelof, he start acting mad. I won't lie, though. He just start moving differently. I don't know. Maybe oh, really? maybe Lindelof if I sign against him, you know, I don't know. He <laughs> may, may have some um, no. some documents that we don't know about. Still. If you started blaming doctors or science again, I'd back you. Ah, bro, I don't yeah? do that. But the fact ah, that you're I'm here saying you. that I'm saying you actually played well hey, is the reason you know. another man played hey, badly. Hey, hey, man, I would, you know. You never oh, know. Maybe maybe, oh, maybe science is why badly's not playing. You never know. Oh, he could get injured. Yeah, he could be injured. Can't can't that, that might be, he might have pulled something in the last match. So, yeah, blame, blame science. Yeah, but <laughs> but to blame the guy who had a good performance for the other guy having a bad performance, yeah, he, he, that, that's like know. saying, yeah, Bruno Fernandes is at fault for Martial having a shocker. It's like saying David De Gea is at fault that Rashford didn't score a goal. What's the correlation? There isn't one. Yeah, Maguire's trash. <laughs> I mean, He's the man alone. Anyway, no. <laughs> <laughs> really no. wrote to write too many, too much times today. But you know, I'll stick with him well until he does something stupid. I can't lie. I'm sorry. Was until a... he does something stupid, yeah. Hey, hey, he hasn't done anything yet. Three and a half hours ago, Tyrone. I know, but that that's not that's not that deep, man. We we, we hold the line with a clean, with I, a clean sheet. I can't lie. In the watch along. I said, Maguire did well there. And then realised he didn't touch the ball. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's but good he's at looking good. like he does stuff. But but many will say, oh, him, if he wasn't there, he would have had no pressure on him to, to put that in. I don't know, man. But, you know, if I he said, hey. Then it would have been Lindelof or Bailly there instead. And we both know that they can clear balls. Yeah? Of course. I think Bailly is the only one that can clear it. Decent. Uh, 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 out of the three, I'm not counting Tanzebe because I know Tanzebe wouldn't mess up. Hey, Kira, your thoughts on the game? Um, I think from what I've seen in the past few matches, every time I see the lineup and I see Maguire's name, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Just because, <laughs> no, obviously you. You are you're in the A team, like mm. you are supposed to be the best of the best, and it's just something is not clicking, and. There was a reason that he got chosen to represent England in the World Cup. And this had better not have been it because it's, it's just mm. not happening for him. I think he does need to spend a little bit more time on the bench because the people who are waiting on the bench to play are going to play better because the second place always tries harder. He's just out there and he's just not... It's it's not happening at the moment. I think he needs a little bit time, mm. a bit of time off 
field to actually think about what he wants to do and get his head in the game. They just plop, like flip him, plop him in there and be like, right. yeah, man, captain. The yeah, just, that's the only reason. That's got, the only reason. Title, yeah? like, you, you, you really got to like. Because he's the captain. If he loses the captain armband, maybe he's his downfall will come. Do you remember the beginning of the season where we said the same thing about the gear? And oh. Henderson came along. Yeah, yeah. he's lit a fire underneath him. He's been uh-huh. playing on yeah. yeah, at the end of last season to the start of this one, like there is a massive difference. And I like I really agree with Akira there with saying put someone in over Maguire and he might actually become a decent player. I'm not saying that he doesn't have the prospects to be able to. Like, it's just, he was picked for that club and that team for a reason. Yeah, obviously they see something that I'm not seeing, mm. but <laughs> maybe but, give him a chance to fight for his position again, and he might start showing it. Maybe he's trading. He's playing at the moment. If yeah. we're being honest, like maybe, you'd be more surprised to not see his name in the lineup, right? Yeah. Than to see his name in the lineup at this yeah. point. I'm just like, oh, okay, he's here. He's the captain. Unless Bruno gets the captain armband, I don't see Harry <laughs> getting chopped. Maybe need to take it off his head. As much, fight as much as back. you want the guy to not play, the only way this happens is if he's not captain anymore. He got dropped so, against Watford, though. Yeah, he but came on in the second half. Yeah, because of injury. I doubt you just resting him. You know he's resting him. The, yeah, look, the option's there. They did it before. I, I know the option's there, but it's only we're talking about. I told you, I still have a swipe my oyster. The guy will pick Harry. Over mm. all of them. Yeah, I haven't swam my oyster yet. I told you Oli's at the wheel, but I haven't swam my oyster yet to give him the full money because <laughs> mad. I could jump off the bus anytime because I haven't swiped. But I'm telling you now, if he's fit and he's captain, he's going to play no matter what. If he's not captain, then I'll be like, Yeah, he, he's in dangerous woods. But I don't who right, right now, who can you get that's better than Harry? I know there's a lot. But you know, in Ollie's eyes, in Ollie's eyes, you have to put it that way. In Ollie's eyes, who could and Ollie say is better than Harry? Harry? Harry. I, need I, need to know. Know. I would ask, uh, I would literally no, ask. No, but come on. From our perspective, perspective Ollie looked look like he's finding Manny by putting, by leaving him on the bench every match until now he wants to play him. So, if in Ollie's eyes, who do you think is better than Harry? In Ollie's eyes, not our eyes, because we can see it. But in Ollie's eyes right now, who does he look like? could get him to fire Van Dyke. We're not getting Van Dyke. Can Gomez. we can we get them? Can we get them? Bye. Can we buy them? Yeah. I know we have Bai but yeah. in, 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 in all these eyes Bali is not as good as Harry. In, in in all these eyes. I don't know why but you know did you not do like a backflip in the last match or something ridiculous like I can't remember what it was. He did something silly. He did something. Yeah. It was silly, but it was also amazing because it did yeah. what it needed to do. Bayer is out there doing Shaolin soccer, yeah? And he's not letting <laughs> him start. I know, that's what I mean. <laughs> but, in all his, yeah, but in all his eyes, he doesn't like do anyone over Harry right now. So I need to know who he feels like is a like better defender right now. Like, I need to know. Uh, I, I got to agree with... Sean and Akira, where they say if you put someone else in, competition for places is going to breed better performances. Like Sean put the uh, the example of De Gea, clear as day, he was trash towards the end of the last season. And now that you know there's a very credible threat on the bench, he's playing out of his socks. And I think you'll see that with Maguire. Because Maguire doesn't care. He doesn't need to put in 10 out of 10s because he's going to get picked for the next game. And I think that's the true toxicity of the club. Yeah, but I just don't see what centre back we can get to fire up Harry right now. There's like They're twenty the centre backs. I don't know, man. Right There's like twenty. Yeah, but at the very least, Harry yeah. will be blocking his shots. Look, this is what Ollie would do, yeah. He would legit get the centre back. Uh, it may it may Harry hat, but it it would be most likely the guys going after Lindelof's place, not. Harry's place. Then buy two centre backs. Right, Vaz said buy two centre backs. We know Man United ain't going to do that. Like, we're not going down that road. Imagine us buying two centre backs. We could even buy one one a few years we ago. We could sell somebody. I know we could. Mm-hmm. I'll, sell I'll, I'll, God. Bro, I don't know why Jones is <laughs> still no in the team. I haven't seen him in so oh, long. My Lord. I don't know it's how he's. Istanbul for some reason. Like, oh, get rid of him. 
Man, man's just yeah. chilling. Like, oh, like yeah. next, he's next on the season. Carlo scheme right now, fam. Before no. Carlo <laughs> scheme was the thing, he next, was next on the season, yeah. Carlo scheme right now, fam. Next season, we're going to match up against Istanbul again. Their back line is literally going to be, yeah, Rafael, Fabio, Jones, yeah. <laughs> and Rowe. <Ro>. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's more to, to the game than just our yeah, defensive line. Him. There was <laughs> a lot of controversy because Pogba was put on the left wing. Giovanni was started out on the bench. Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Because I personally feel that Martial could have sat this one out if you're going to bench one of the three. True. I, I, what, I was interested when he put Pogba on the wide. But I felt like he could have still played Pogba and put someone else on the wide because I'd rather him push through the middle and help Bruno as well. Because he was doing well. Not saying he didn't have a... He didn't have an amazing game on that side. We didn't have a bad game. He had like a you know all right game, but I felt like he didn't need to put him out there. But he did do he did do what he needed to do, so he did make a good runs and stuff. But I felt like he could have played him in the center with Bruno and stuff and put someone else wide because right now we were just relying on one winger to run. But we mm. had our you know our forward that was fast too, but. Our winger play was kind of like we were relying on Pogba. Yes, he's a good like at running, you know, but he's not like he could leave Liverpool's defense, you know, because they, they do have the pace over him. And he was strong and he did do it, but I felt like we were just relying on one side with that wing play because of Martial or Rashford, whoever it was on the wing. But I felt like we could have played Pogba in the middle. We could have like left Fred out today, you know, put Pogba there instead, you know, play about with Greenwood and and. Oh, we didn't even need to play Grim. We could have put Cavani up front and put Rashford and Marsha on the wing. But it's his team, in it? So. <laughs> yeah, I feel Pogba had shown a lot of maturity in the game because he was tracking back a, a bit more. Mm-hmm. I feel he was definitely sticking to his man in Trent. And I feel Trent had a really quiet game. Yeah. Robertson was a bit more lively on the other side, but... I think that just goes to show that these players can pick up new skills. They can play in a new shape. It wasn't going to be the goal thriller that maybe some would have liked, but I think every man or almost every man knew their job and played it well. I agree with that. Until Oli decides to take off Martial. Kavani <laughs> <sighs> coming on. Was the was the correct decision? Absolutely. Martial coming off was the wrong decision. Absolutely, in my in my opinion. And I know I said Martial would have started off on the bench, but if you, I, I can't argue if you started him, started him because he is one of our better players. If you're going back with, you know, years upon years, so you see Martial, you see Rashford. One of them's clearly having the worst game than the other. And you're taking off the wrong one. I don't know what that's all about. Mm. Favoritism. You think so? I just think maybe he's being sick. Certain, just... certain players get played regularly all the time, and mm-hmm. even when they have bad games, they still get played next week anyway. Uh, as much as I like Fernandez, there's been a couple stinky performances from him recently, yeah. and he doesn't get taken off. Instead, someone else does, like Fred, who was having a banger, or like you said, Martial, he was tracking back constantly. He was getting forwards. He was making all the plays happen. And mm-hmm. instead, Rashford, who was missing for like 80 of the 90 minutes, get, gets left there. And it's like, okay, well, 80th minute swings along. Oh, Greenwood's lining up. He looks like he doesn't even want to be coming on anyway. <laughs> the way he's like slept down the stairs, like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like your mom <laughs> comes down to get the remote and he was he was cold, man. And once again, though, like <laughs> he doesn't he take do the yet. Instead, he, he has to do warm up. up there, so. Yeah, man, he needed to warm up before he could give you the little, the little serious bobs. You know? No, I, but, I, I know it firsthand. You can't walk in cold without getting warm up. <laughs> well, that's why he's there with his little joggers on, isn't it? It's calm, isn't it? They probably got heated seats and everything. Ah, bro, it's it's man, fine. Man, those joggers don't help you. <laughs> But, but yeah. yeah, like you saw the the way that the players are reacting. Like Fernandez did not want to come off. Yeah, he, didn't. he was outraged. He didn't the fact know. that he had to come <laughs> off. <laughs> it, it wasn't him. We all know who had to come off at that time, man. 
Yeah. It hurts to say it, but Mr. Dr. Rashford should have stepped off, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, like, you could see it in his face. Fernandez was fuming. He did not want to come off. So much, man. Him and Oli are going to have some words today, man. Mm -hmm. Thief. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you think does not start the next match because a certain word's been exchanged? Imagine, fam. I would take that. I would take that. I'll back him all the way, man, if he's has to sit on the bench for misconduct. <laughs> I, I, I just like to think that he was pointing at man like Rashford and was like, you're taking me off and leaving man like him on. Did you see what he did? <laughs> like, oh, what there he was did. that run. All of us saw it where it was a two and one him and Cavani. beautiful moment. Him and Cavani and Fabinho. Fabinho is good, but he's not stopping both players. What Rashford needed to do was put a ball to the left for Cavani to get onto. That's all. Possible goal. But Rashford holds up for it too long, lets the other defender come back, and then yeah. waits it. After yeah. that, I would have stopped him. He didn't, even, like, he didn't even try back back pass it or something at least, bro. Man just carried on running and losing. I'm like, what? Come on, man. I didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know his left from his right today. He was awful. Bro, it was so simple, man. It was hey. basic football right there, man. Pass it to him. He has space. Just a little tap. No heavy pass. We knew it was a little tap. Cavani could have buried that. You never know. He could have not, but there was a good chance that. Yeah. Just, uh, I mean, we had the better chance at goal than whatever that was that he was exactly. doing. Uh, yeah. It just was the wrong choice again. Yeah. He had two chances to get know, it right. right. And then he was there. <laughs> and then he was there mouthing off after he made the error. Like, nah, bro, keep keep quiet and put your head down. You know you messed up. Don't try it. Act <laughs> like you were in the right, man. They're trying to mouth. Even Cov I could swear, man. Cavani was vexed. I don't know who was behind. Who else was behind Cavani? Popa. Is it Popa? Yeah, man. Both of them were vexed, fam. They're like, mm -hmm. what is this guy doing? Cavani broke towards the left. Popa was coming up on the right. Thinking Rashford would pass it back to him, instead Rashford keeps running towards that corner flag and gets tackled like five yards from the fucking touchline. He wants a mouth back, man. I would. I tell you, when he gives that change of roof, nah, he <laughs> every everyone should give him a clap on the head for that, man. Nah, man. <laughs> nah I don't care, bro. I don't care. I would do it honestly, man. I have to and... clap my guys when they did something silly. They 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 miss a shot that they should have put in, and that, <laughs> bro, bro, no, no, bro, nah. <laughs> That's good, man. You know, um, our coach will give us orange, you know, in half time to get it all. But when when mm. I see him, I'm just clapping his head, even though he had, yeah, sometimes they have a nice fresh cut, makes it even sweet. Just <laughs> then, fix up, fam. I ain't no joke. I know, you know, it's no no, your head taking like missing what that could I could even put that in next time. Don't do that. Pass the ball if you're going to do something stupid. Man's in the cup finals, missing shots like that, fam. Nah, X me, you know, we lost one nil that that's that cup. Game. <laughs> I can you tell you a lot. You're very angry talking about that memory, you know. <laughs> man, 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 they're smiling, and we're one, and we're one nil. Oh, man, piss me off. Noah, I, 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 I hear that because when Fernandez was doing stupidness on the ball, and then he was smiling afterwards, I was like, "You better wipe that smile off your face, boy." I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. There's nothing to be smiling about. Even if it's an awkward smile, awkwardly wipe that smile off, man. Like, you don't want to see that out here. Only smile if you score or you get an assist. You're lucky we're in tier four, mate, because if you weren't, yeah. <laughs> um, but then again, it was, it was a solid performance by it. Majority of players today. I, I, feel, yeah, I, I feel a lot of players played well. I think Pogba had a good game. I think Fernandez did have a good game. I don't think it was his worst game. I don't think it was his best game. But his free kick was good. He got a couple shots that Allison had to save. Mm. Yeah. Who is everyone's man of the match? Mm. It's, it's a hard one, man. If, if Tyrone says Maguire, we're fighting. <laughs> I'm not. Tyrone. Who was your man of the match? And why was it Maguire? My <laughs> man of the match, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You may not, may not expect it. I feel, still feel like Tommy for me was man of the match. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you know, his performance, you know, it was like mm. he didn't do any, he didn't let me down, he didn't do any fancy bull craps, you know, you know. But you know, for him, I feel like he was my man of the match. Yeah, yeah, I could say Pogba was there, but yeah, I'd rather have Martial's kind of my second if I had to pick a second. So I'll say those two. 
Bruno was, you know, typical Bruno. It's not like he did something he was differently or spectacular. It was just Bruno doing his job in it. So you can't I can't be rating saying guys just for doing their basic football job. You know, as Roy mm-hmm. Keane says, it's his job to catch the ball. I could have catched that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like a certain man's job to defend the balls and clear them yeah, out. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I it out. Paid, it? But... No, no. Sometimes you have to like make a man foul. You know, if you if you if you can't deal with those balls, <laughs> just jump, just jump on your knees. Ah, ah, ref. Sean, you're man in the match. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, yeah, considering how I started this podcast, I think Martial played really well. Like, I know he didn't see out the ninety minutes, but. As far as defensive work goes and getting forwards, he was the one doing everything. Obviously, he made a mistake here or there, but the majority of the players made a couple of mistakes. The other contender I would have had up there was like either Pogba or even Luke Shaw. But I feel like Martial got massively hard done by in that match. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. And Akira? I was going to say De Gea because he's the only one I don't have to stress over. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, but if I had to pick someone obviously outside the goal, I guess I would pick, I guess Luke Shaw, because I feel like there were times where he was covering Maguire's, the things Maguire was supposed to be doing mm-hmm. and doing his own job. And he was doing it well. Like mm. he clearly had his head in the game and he knew what he was playing for. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I, I'd give it to Luke Shaw, but Martial would be a close second for me. I think I agree with Sean that the substitution really does skew things and you just forget everything that he did in the first half. But he was really everywhere. I remember how many times I said he's coming into his own half to get the ball. He's, mm. you know, he's coming back. He's tracking back, marking man, winning the ball. And Bacha really put a shift in. It was the wrong decision, but he took his substitution well, unlike some. Mm-hmm. I think, I think Luke Shaw is man of the match for me because he just covered every blade of grass. He was up there. You see, there are people that complain about his um, productivity, saying he doesn't get up enough. He was really up in the opposition's box a lot of the time. He put in a really good cross from Rashford that I think got saved. He stopped Salah making a mockery of Maguire and Lindelof many, many times. <laughs> Everything that did... Everything that did get past the defensive backline, De Gea had, which was a blessing because it's not every game you can say that. But Luke Shaw marshaled his zone very well. I don't think he was made to look a fool. There were some times where Mane twisted up Aaron Wamba's soccer, but we never saw that on the other hand side. We did. Um, we did. did we? Twice. Yeah, so I was going to mention it afterwards. But I, I time, forgot that. There was at least two times where... Uh, Luke Shaw went to do his little like twist and back around, oh, like the double back, and um, yeah, he he lost the ball and actually nearly gave away a, a very good goal if the gear wasn't there to save it. Mm. That's why I chose the gear. Yeah. That's true. He was the final stand <laughs> against everybody else's shenanigans that, in the darkest. That he's the hero we need, <laughs> not the one that, we deserve. That is true. I do remember that because I remember swearing at him. For for accustoming the ball in such a stupid area, mm. I'm still going to give it to him. But yeah, he didn't have quite the flawless game that I remember. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so we have Fulham next on Wednesday. We're going to Craven Cottage. Surely he can't predict us to lose this one, Sean. I mean, after today's performance, Andy. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> no, I, I think, I feel like it should be an easy win. That being said, there's no such thing as an easy win, considering we beat Burnley and West Brom 1-0. <laughs> so I think it's going to be another 1-0 to United. Ty? 2-0. Hero? I don't want to go too high because I feel like I'm going to be disappointed. Again, I'm gonna go with one nil because I think that's that's doable, and 
Yeah. It's, you know, it's doable because I feel like the reason we critique everyone so much is because they have so much potential and we know how good players they are, but they're just not, if something's not clicking. So I feel like one nil is doable. I'm not asking for too much. Just sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> one bloody goal. One goal. The hair, I don't even need to worry about you. You got it, sweetie. But the rest of you, one goal is all I'm asking for. <laughs> Yeah, I was, you gonna, I was gonna say the same. It's gonna be one nil for me because when you look at the games against teams that are poor on paper, mm. they're often the title ones for us. So I think West Brom was a one nil. I th- uh, I think Burnley was a one nil. Mm. Wolves was one nil. So those games where we feel like we have the better players outright and we should be schooling these boys, those are often the most fierce fights. So I'm going to say 1-0. It's going to be... It's, we're going to win. We're going to get three points. And then after that... Sure, did you want to say something? <laughs> I'm going to bottle it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I hope we don't because we're still top of the league right now. But I mean, every... It's, every it's, game it's, 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 it's a cup match, isn't it? Yeah, no, this is after Fulham. I was still talking about Fulham there. Are you talking about Liverpool we're bottling? Yeah. <laughs> okay, bad. Okay, okay. We're going to lose. We're going to lose that one. Yeah. I feel that. We're going to be at Old Trafford. We're going to, I want to call it, we're going to lose that. Yeah, no, like the, the, the stadiums are reversed. Yeah, like gonna, our home record is shocking. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to away that. record isn't bad. Don't Remember when they got Kane 7 2, though? Hey man, hey! Oh. The, the, the only, the only hope, one, yeah. <laughs> the only hope I have is if Oli really wants to get <laughs> another semi final and lose again. That's the only hope that we will beat oh. them. But you, you know that meme of the um the the black guy who's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like you can't lose a final if you never make it to a final. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Oh, that was. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. Yeah, well, you know what? We most likely gonna either we're gonna lose. I feel like yeah, we're gonna f- like a f- couple of L's from Sean and Tyden. Yeah, I, I yeah, I think this game was a bit too it was all right, but I feel like next game, I feel like they may come out guns mm. please, because they're not in their, their yard. No, I, I feel it's more to do with he's focusing on the premiership. Mm-hmm. Like you could see from the match against Watford. Like, yeah, he better half a team anyway, so it's to be expected a bit of a tighter match, but I feel like he's focused on winning the league. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's in that position now, why not? Isn't it? Right now, <laughs> that team he may put out against Liverpool is going to be Henderson in goal. Maybe Bally's going to play with Lindelof. You may put Tellus out, put Williams out. <laughs> Uh, midfield is probably going to be Matic and um, who else? Maybe you may play Scott, Tomine, and Fred. Then put Don on Greenwood, Mata. You know, you know those players. Daniel James. He's going to play those guys. But if they win, I, I take it. I take it. Hey man, don't expect the, 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 the pop. Boy. You're going to expect the Jesse. Hey, wait, has this thing got left yet? Has he gone nah. alone yet? He wants to go there. Okay. If, if he yeah. doesn't go alone, he's gonna play next next cup game, fam. Don't worry, man. Watch. If 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 he wins and scores, you know he's probably gonna do the little. Yeah, take that with you to Nice. We, we appreciate your service, Jesse. Nice. Uh... <laughs> Ahura, what do you think? Do you think we'll beat Liverpool next week in the FA Cup? Like I said, so one nil, boys. I'll be one nil. Class. I'm not asking for much. I would rather. I feel like I would rather they draw, but actually put out a good game and like everyone is in the zone. People aren't second guessing themselves. They're working together as a team. So I don't. I'd rather them draw, but have a good game. I don't care if they win. If it's this kind of performance, it's just they could do better. This mm. this one goes to penalties if it's a draw. Yeah. I think so. I don't think they're replays. Yeah, I think it goes through. Which it makes sense. You, you don't want replays in, in a time such as this. Everyone's getting injuries. I hope I don't hear next 
next game in Liverpool. What matter? Mate, you're going to hear it. If he scores... <laughs> you just, on, you, just you know, <laughs> you know? I, I think I think we're I don't know I don't like predicting we're gonna lose. Effort. So I'm gonna say we're gonna win. <laughs> we have to lose somewhere. I don't want it to be in prem, so it has to be in the cup. Yeah, I think we saw from both managers that they were adamant to their teams, to their players, not to lose this game. I feel the fear of God was put by both managers respectively. And I don't think that same pressure will be on the FA Cup because it hasn't mattered since the 90s. So they're not going to put out their top teams in this cup. It's, I think we're going to see guns blazing, as Ty put it. We're going to see a more attacking philosophy. And I don't know, maybe we see a Gallo before he goes back to China. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what? Oh, like, Oli did him die. I, f- I heard that he was supposed to play against Watford, but he cancelled it last minute. I mean, we won, so he made the right choice. I know, but he could at least play them, man. He, well, he lived his dream. He was a Man United player for a couple months. You know, he scored a couple goals in the replay. Yeah. We, we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like, yeah, it wasn't no, like, like, side goals. Those were like, important goals, too. You know, he did his part. For for how much we grabbed them for, you know, mm. it's all right. I I wish him more. Isn't it? Yes, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really I'm never trying to violate him, uncle. You know, imagine you know, imagine calling him a goal up, but but oh, he probably slapped me with a slipper. Wow. wow. Okay. Hey, man, <laughs> bro, no. It's like last time. Like my mom has this like like Nigerian friend in the hair shop, and I called up like by like her name. Right, because I started to know her now. She said, "No, don't do that. It's auntie. You forgot the auntie." And she was dead serious, bro. If I didn't say it, man, I felt like I was gonna get a slipper to the head, man. <laughs> I re- I rephrase that. Yes, hey. auntie. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> when you, when you, when you, I don't know if they're that old, like the old old fashioned ones are still about, but that's how they used to do. You know, like if you went up to them and do not say auntie, and you're not even anyway related to them, who, and they know you, who, man. Pray for your head don't get hit with a with a comb or something. Bro. Oh, never That's taken me. one hell of a turn. <laughs> I, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Back on track, back on track, back on track. Anyway. Uh, uh, does anyone have any final football related things to say? Um, okay. Before we go, who d- do you feel like we're gonna bring anyone else in this transfer window? I think not. Uh, me too. If we do talk, yeah. Would you be surprised or not? I'd be surprised because I don't think we're getting anyone. Like, we're halfway through the month. There's no concrete evidence of us approaching players or anything. Everything's for the summer. I don't think we're going to get anyone in. We're top of the league now. I think Woodward thinks, okay, this team is good enough to win the league. And he's not going to release any more funds to Oli. Are we not getting Sancho? No! <laughs> I'll say it again. I have more chance of Ronaldo returning back to Man United than us getting Sancho. Even though I feel like, personally, Sancho regrets not coming. Like It wasn't his choice. I know it exactly. wasn't his he choice. Come. He could have pushed it. Nah, 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 nah. Footballers can push their moves. He, he could have pushed uh, it. Not really, no. Because right now... His club. And his yeah, club right, worth £110 million. Yeah, but right now, what's, what's Sancho doing for Dortmund, bruv? Sitting on the bench. He's That's what he's doing for Dortmund. He's sulking. He's sulking. He, he wanted the move, so he's not playing. Yeah, like... They're just, they're just gonna... But, you know, that's their fault, isn't it? You know, the cheaper he is, you know, better, better for us. We'll get him summertime, you know. And he's, you know... Yeah, he could cut that down to, like, 60 mil not. That's the thing. How much did we pay for Cavani? It was free. Because yeah. he, he was a free man. Yeah, he was a free oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. Okay. Wages, which is like, what, 300k yeah. a week? Yeah. Right yeah. now, they, they can't overcharge us for Sancho anymore, man. That's mm. 60 mil. I don't want Dortmund it. have shot themselves in the foot because United wanted to pay 90. I don't and know, Dortmund were like, nah. They can't, they can't take 90 now. Nah, they take the 60. <laughs> nah, yeah. 60 or 50, I swear. If we, if we pay any more... Or higher than what we were. Man, neither a joke, man. And have too well, much. We're just going there with like 120 bid. 
Let's pack it across. Well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be Wingo when he was trying to um, sign Suarez, but he added that. <laughs> 40 million and one pound. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, that, that, dude, that was a disgrace, man. Uh, shocking, uh, shocking, <laughs> shocking tactics. That there, man. <laughs> that there. I have to give it for him for that one power, man. That. That's that's one of those ones, yeah, where he's not getting backed by the board, and he's like, you know what? Reaches into his pocket. He's like, here's a pound. You know what? <laughs> he's like, you know what? I'll put in my own money. They looked in his account. Nah. <laughs> Give me the pound instead, bro. Take that. I would add fifty p to it, but I need to buy one of those ten, ten, you know, bags of Haribo's. You know, five of them. <laughs> I think that's it. Well, on that note, thank you everyone for tuning into this podcast. Please like the video, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter at Red Devils Advoc and Instagram RD Advocate. And of course, you can listen to this on Spotify and hopefully soon Apple Podcasts. But until then, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe. See you next time.